you rejoined Soupy on his new show, the Soupy Sales Show, in 1964 here in New oh, York. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? What, what brought you back to his show? Uh, yeah, he called me from California. He and Clyde didn't, uh, were uh, breaking up. Clyde didn't want to... Uh, Clyde, see, was not an actor like, uh, like me, or he, he was... Well, Clyde was a crew member at first, when he first started there. And then because he did some things, uh, acting things, he got paid as an actor, too. Uh, and when they broke up, Soupy called on me. And what was your reaction when he called? Oh, I, would t I turned it down at first. I uh, figured, I said, Soupy, I, I'm rusty. I, I can't do it. Said, oh, come on, Frank. You know you never get rusty in this business. And then that's when I thought, well, there'll be six shows a week, and at scale, that'll be good money for those days. So that's how I got in. Mm -hmm. and, and why didn't you go to Los Angeles with Soupy? Well, I never liked Anybody look? I never liked Los Angeles. I never liked. I'm not a California person. Uh, I was bored. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I really en I enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, but I I just preferred New York. You know? yeah. And uh, and when you got back here for the New York show, was it very different from the Detroit show? Oh yeah. Uh, how, how was it different? We got more adult. Mm -hmm. She simply said, we don't call them boys and girls because we don't want to have to worry about mothers and fathers saying, oh, he said a bad word, or he did this, or he did that, or, you know, whatever we did. And uh, so we kind of, we, we eliminated, hi, boys and girls, hi, gang, you know, that simple changes didn't hurt anybody. And, and what characters did you perform in the New York show? All of them. I worked everything but Soupy's head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Forgive me, Soupy. <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. Soupy and I were the only actors on the set most of the time. We had a lot of guests. We had, as I mentioned, the Supremes. Oh, God, we had every major singer. Uh, I have. Uh, all the sing great singers of the time, you know, like Dick Hames and Perry Como. Uh, you did Pookie and White Fang and Black Tooth. Oh, the characters. Right. And Wanyan's Oregano, his girlfriend Peaches, uh, Little Boy, uh, uh, Pookie, we, we mentioned Pookie, uh, Hippie, we mentioned Hippie, who else? Oh, uh, the mean lady next door, every other character. I did. Now, did these characters change at all from Detroit, Frank? Did they mature? Were they any different Oh, at all? some of them were created here mm -hmm. in New York. Do you remember the ones that were created especially here in New York? Onions, oregano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that name haunts me, <laughs> but I like it. Um, was the, uh, the basic premise of the show very similar to the Detroit show, even though you're saying you were yes. going for a bigger, uh, an older audience? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I think Soupy had a little more leeway to go, you know, with material because of the audience, you know, that we decided to go for the adult audience rather than the children. Although we we had children audience and kids liked us. Yeah. Um, was the show live here? Yes. Um, how were these shows written? Who wrote them? Soupy and Art Seidel, God rest his soul. Uh, me, sometimes, I had to contribute something, that, I put it that way. Uh, but Soupy did most of the, right, he did most of the material. Was it any more or less ad-libbed than Detroit? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a lot more ad-libbed because, well, we had to move, work hard because uh, we had a lot of competition. <laughs> Who was your competition at the time? Well, Captain Kangaroo, but we finally beat him out, too. Anyone else? Any other competition? Uh, there was, but I don't even remember them because they weren't competition. Mm -hmm. When Soupy Soupy, that theme song came on, uh, we were it. Um, and what about the pie throwing? Was it any more or less of a, a part of the show? Oh, it was always a great part of the show. Mm -hmm. And he, even the stagehands who 
who would help me with throwing the pie. Uh, they were an integral part of the show, too, because they had to learn how to throw those pies. And Soupy was a perfectionist when it came to that, you know? Talk about that, that perfectionism uh, of Soupy's. Well, he, he didn't like any cheap gags. Uh, uh, he, he didn't like when you ad-libbed uh, and you didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> which would happen sometimes. How would he express um, the fact that he was uh, a little upset with any, anything that was happening on the show? He would vocalize it. Mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha.